All right, hello guys. This is a video for uh, tracking. Uh, I just want to show you guys some of Vanna's moves to help you guys out, uh, especially when you come face to face with an opponent who is tired of ducking and guarding, right? And they start sidestepping from like way out here, trying to make you miss, right? Or sidewalking, whichever way you want to say. So let's go. If they're going this way, it's called sidestepping clockwise. If they go this way, it's counterclockwise. I'll show you all the tracking moves she has that's going clockwise first. So if you see your opponents um, starting to move this way a lot, or just consistently like going this way, you know, then <clears throat> you can probably start throwing out all the moves that track this way so all right <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started my personal favorite move that i always use to track that way is quarter circle 41 as most people see in my videos when i play when i stream if the guys start walking that way you just run up quarter circle 41 i don't care who you are if you're lily king i don't even care you know even if they sidestep if they're trying to sidestep it you know they still get hit. And I'm talking about slight step. If they sidewalk, they'll just get hit regularly. Right? But if they try to side step it, they have a very good chance of trying to get away, but that's the best they got. Right? They could duck it obviously, but yeah. And then um, moves that track this way does not track the other way. So if they go this way, it will not track. For example like that yeah whereas if they go this way it will always track yeah okay next move that I think is probably the second best move to use is quarter circle 4-4 four, four. this move is good because it really tracks both ways Sidewalking will get caught, most definitely, unless you're out of range, obviously. And then it's very good because it also tracks this way. At very close range, it will track depending on how long they start walking. At mid range, it will probably lose its tracking that way. But at long range, it will probably lose it too. But it does track very well both ways. So yeah, that's a move that's good for both sides. But Primarily used for clockwise um, counter uh, to 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 hit clockwise walkers, and then um, another good move is her running two three. If you're just in running stance and you just do two three, you automatically go to this right. So if you're about this range and you want to run in and you think that they're clockwise in you walking you, you can just walk in, bang. So for example, bang, right. It is a high, so yeah, it is duckable. But if they walk you, if they sidestep, they will get away. So they have to be walking. If they're walking you, they will get hit. So make sure you understand that. If your opponent doesn't, if your opponent is like a, like they like to do this, they like to do this, you're more likely to. Um, you're more likely to whiff. You have to have the distance, but yeah, okay. But it does it does track this way. Um, it does track this way for walkers. So yeah, make sure you use that for walkers. And then um, same thing goes with this one. It has the same kind of problem. Whereas, um, if you were just walking, you were more than likely to get hit. <laughs> Even though it missed right there. It has to be at like a certain range. But yeah, it does track, it just doesn't track as well. Yeah. But it doesn't track this way at all. So yeah. So the truth is, if you, if you run up to do it, it will give you a better tracking. So if you ran up to do this move, because... It meaning that you have an angle and you're still 
the character, the opponent's character is still uh, not walking yet, but once you get to it, then you do it, then it'll trap. Very better, yeah. But if you do it from like the stance, from the from point blank, it will not track. It will, but it wouldn't track that well. Yeah, but from further away, it will track better. Mid range, it tracks better. Too far, it won't track either. So yeah. Okay, and then um, the next one is this one here. This one doesn't have much range, so my guess is. Yeah, so you have to be closer than that. So with this move, <clears throat> it tracks very well that way, clockwise. So for example, it's almost 100% tracking to like uh, quarter circle four one. So even if they try to side walk this, I uh, side step this, they will still get hit. From distance, it still tracks good, but. The only problem is the range. Um, if you do do two, you will whiff the second one. For example, if they sidewalk this way, yeah, maybe, maybe not so much, but sometimes it does uh, whiff. So you have to be careful. Yeah, like that. Sometimes if you get, if they get too far away, it will whiff. But my guess is. It will probably whiff less. Yeah, they really, really have to get far to get the, the non-whiff. So yeah, it's a pretty decent move. So you can use uh, the two option, then back, the back down one, four, and then um, also the other move that catches that way also is um, down four. Down four catches very well um, going to the clockwise. If they sidewalk, if they try to sidestep, it still catches pretty well. But there is a range issue probably. Yeah, but then if you go this way, it's harder to track. It does track, but it is harder to track. So sometimes they do get away with it. And sometimes they don't. So yeah, it is very dependent on how your character reacts. Like if you stay... if Because the thing is... With down 4, if you move 4, your character automatically readjusts the alignment. So if you did down 4, you full crouch to down 4, then your character is going to realign to do the down 4. So that's why it will track sometimes better, both ways. But okay. So let's go to the generic stuff that does track both ways. Uh, first off, before 2, tracks, um, sidewalk, sidestep south clockwise yeah so they will always track this way and it will always track this way <laughs> look at that <laughs> okay next is this one let's just dash up a little bit yeah so this one is also a good move to track both ways no matter what they do, it will track both ways. Okay. Next one is her back to two. This will also track both ways, but this is also high. So be a little bit cautious about using this high one, even for four or two, you know. That's why I don't like to use four four two a lot lately because of the duck ability of it. But four four two is a good move. But this does track both ways, so yeah, just make sure you guys can use that properly and then another move that probably people don't know is um, your hip check tracks both ways so if you run up to hip check your opponent this is a mid move that tracks both ways but of course it's launch punishable but most people don't punish it so yeah so if you try walking this you will just get hit no matter which way you walk you get hit because this tracks super well if you try to sidestep it you still get hit It's very hard to miss this move um, when people are trying to walk you or step you. So yeah, that um, hip check basically is like a universal um, tracking move. Okay, so let's get to the next one. The next ones will be moves that will track clock counterclockwise. All the moves I show you thus far is the one that tracks 
clockwise and are very um, unlikely to track counterclockwise except for those last four that I show you so yeah so these are the one that's going to track the opposite way and the first move that I would normally do if I wasn't going to use a true tracking move I will go in and do a person for 2-1 so this move will it's like a magnet to the outside uh, it's a magnet to the uh, clock counterclockwise so it will always hit your opponent it's very very hard to like uh, whip if they're moving this way yeah no matter what but of course if they go this way it's very easy for them to avoid it so yeah just make sure you know which way your opponent is uh, moving before you start using those moves and then one of her other move it's a pretty good move down 4-4 four, four. will always track that way as well there is no like I don't think there is any way that this move will not catch your opponent so yeah but it won't track this way same thing okay okay um next is another move that's just as dangerous this move kind of tracks both way but not really it tracks more this way than anything so if counterclockwise use this move if your opponent likes to go counterclockwise they go this way sometimes it tracks depending on the range like if they're a little bit further away sometimes it hits them like that randomly but don't use it for that clockwise uh, don't use it for clockwise stepping though use it for counterclockwise stepping um, and this is a really good one it's not that punishable but it's really good tracking because she literally just walks to that side so yeah for example if they're trying to walk the same way as you they're just gonna get hit yeah and uh, it's a guarantee two hits so literally you get like 25 damage off of that or even more if they walk this way of course it's punishable though but of course if they walk this way they're just gonna get you uh, I mean it tracks pretty well but t don't use it for that side walk for the um, clockwise sidewalk <coughs> and then <coughs> I believe this move also tracks pretty well that way I haven't tested it yet but um, I wouldn't recommend running up to two down four two just because they're sidewalking that way it might whiff still so for example it does track though it does track this way but sidestep usually can and maybe not it tracks very well this way even Lily's amazing sidestep clockwise still gets it yeah yeah sometimes she whips see if you're on point with the sidewalk sidestep she'll whip but based on this you almost hit about 90% of the time so more than 90% you know so yeah but if they walk this way it won't work so yeah down forward 2 is good for that side so if they like to walk this way, definitely use uh, down forward two. Safer option um, and gives you launch. So yeah, go for that. And then, <clears throat> of course, the famous move that I always use <laughs> for forward three. For forward three tracks very well both ways, guys. But it really depends on um, the range because your kick could start from here or your kick could start from way out here, you know. And if you want to hit your opponent, obviously you try to get to them. So here, if they side walk this way, it will get them. If they side walk this way, it will get them. But if they side step, it will be harder to hit on the clockwise. If they side step this way, it's still good. But if they side step this way, they'll get you. So if they side walk. If they sidewalk like this, you're more likely to get them because your character is going to realign. So yeah, but if they sidestep um, this way, they will get you. If they sidestep this way, they will get caught. So same thing like earlier. Um, if they start sidestepping to the to the clock counterclockwise, you got a lot of launch options, right? If they sidestep to the um, to the to the clockwise. You have more safe option, but not very launch friendly. 
Like, they're not really launch. You know, you just this stuff. This kind of stuff. This one probably is not that good because it, they will still walk it, you know? They can still sidestep it, I mean. So, probably use this more and um, this one for the uh, clockwise. For the... Clockwise, yeah, so for this side. Okay. And pretty much that does it for all her um, good tracking moves, so yeah. So let me just show you guys a good example of um, how you can probably use some of that stuff um, against characters like Lily who would probably do some kind of uh, fancy stepping after she throws out a down 4-1, right? So let's just say she throws down 4-1 and she wants to walk you. So this would be like an example maybe it's not called walking because at this point she's like point like point blink right and she's really sidestepping you right so most lily player they will probably go down for one sidestep whichever way they want right so let's just go um let me go ahead and change this to off. okay so example is Lily player comes up and she does this, right? Oh, not that. Most Lily players sometimes they go like this, right? And they go. That was way too slow. And they do something like that, right? So they want you to whiff your standing punch, right? So they want to do that to you, right? But if they just did that and you just did this, you catch them. Okay, that that literally didn't catch them. But if you dash forward a little bit. But most time you won't dash forward, so yeah, that will get away. But this one shouldn't. So four four three would be a very good option here. The reason why I would use four four three here too is because it catches those characters that does like if they did this right. Like some Lily player does this right. So if you if she does this, you're literally gonna whiff right. And if you if you did um, this, well you get her, but. But this one will definitely get her. Actually, this looks even better. But regardless, um, these are your two good launchers to um, track that side. So yeah, go for that. But the thing is, if you did do this launch and this counter for it, you will whiff, right? So you have to try doing this, and this will whiff too. See, this will whiff, and this will whiff. So now you can just do this or this, right? And of course, it beats out it beats out the options like earlier too, because obviously she has to walk while you don't have to. So yeah, so we'll four or three, we'll four or three will be the preferred option then <coughs> for sidestepping on that side or side walking that side. Of course, <coughs> then she obviously is not limited to that side. So if your opponent walks that way, same thing. If you try poking. You look like this, but obviously you can go for probably the better option would be this. But I mean, you can also, you know, that won't work. Yeah, I would do this, but just knowing that she has the high crush option, you're probably stuck to doing that, right? Or yeah, or you can just go this one, but this one will also whiff the second hit, so you just do that one. So yeah, this would hit the uh, th that would hit the other one though, for sure. And then um, let's see if you can. Oops, not that. I didn't want that. That actually worked too though. That's funny. I did I thought this was so linear, but yeah, yeah. So it's, you can do this one too, but it's kind of slow, and it 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 doesn't track as well. In my opinion than this one and this one does high crush but it does do way more damage so yeah um, but to be honest that one would probably whiff on this whereas the other one won't see this one will whiff this one will whiff oh actually <laughs> actually this this one didn't whiff strange because this move comes out way too fast so that's probably the reason why you can catch them like that 
But I would prefer um, quarter circle four four, of course. So yeah. So good example is obviously I mean, even when she did that, right? Quarter circle four can beat that out. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, if you can do that, then you get a free launch, right? You get a free launch doing this too. So it's up to your preference. If you are very good with inputs and you want to do quarter circle four one, go for it. But the truth is, like I said, even a Lily player that smash that probably it's gonna get hit with this right if you are really good timing but if you if your execution is slow oh my gosh it's really good actually yeah, if your execution is slow you're gonna get hit especially if you play online too so it's gonna be hard but yeah I would totally go for this there see that's the first time I whipped but especially that she walked that way too now you have an even easier way to combo right but it does whiff a lot though Yeah, so if you don't want to go for that, you probably should go for this, because this will be 100%. Or, of course, you can do down 4, but the reason why you wouldn't do down 4 is because if she did this, then you get high crush. Low crush. Whatever. It would crush, though. It's just because... Let's see if that worked. Nice sidewalk, right? No, I didn't sidewalk. I mean, usually online, everything's slower, so you will get high crush. You will be looking like this. It will look like you delay your kick online, so you would actually get hit. But offline, obviously, you won't, but that's another story. So, yeah. So, alright, guys. Just like that. Best move to counter um, clockwise motion. Um, course over 4 1. Um, probably the best move to counter um, the counterclockwise for 4 3. So, yeah, if your opponent likes to run that way, you can just do this one to counter that one. The movement, um, the movement this way for 4 3, this way, quarter circle 4 1. Okay, and that's it. Hopefully, this helps you guys out. If you're an Ana player and you struggle with sidewalking people, this will help you guys out. And uh, that's it guys, hopefully you guys like this video, subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed, thank you for watching, see you guys next time.